Welcome to a podcast filled with inspiration and education, an empowerment podcast to make you more self-sufficient. Welcome to From the Hood to the Woods podcast. Your hosts, Robbie and Tay, are here to entertain with great singing and acting, as well as educate on everything you need to live a life filled with purpose. From the Hood to the Woods podcast, going live in three, Welcome man, welcome man. Come and take a well you, well you can't really take a seat, but welcome back in. You know we here at From the Hoods to the Woods podcast. I am Robbie. And I'm Tay. And we back with another episode. Boy, it's about to get a little raunchy, a little different. We trying to spread our wings a little bit. So um Yeah. Yeah. Today probably gonna be a little touchy subject. Um, and it's about our children, our kids, our future. Mm-hmm. And I feel like it's really important that we what talk about... What our kids did? Oh, you talking about all... No, kids. all children. Okay, I'm going to whip children. somebody's tail. And it's not even really like what they're doing. It's what people really doing. What people are doing to the kids. Okay, so we want to just talk about it. Talk about a few stories, share our experiences, talk about how important it is for us to guard our kids, guard our children, not only our children, but the children around us, because it's very important. Yeah. Yeah, man, it's um, something that we really need to talk to. We touched on it on pretty much all um, the podcasts, a little bit about the kids in Chicago and everything going on. So that's not even the tip of the iceberg. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You gonna listen to the first two? You go ahead, babe. You know, you got to lead her into the, <laughs> and I'm going to take over when I feel like it. All right. We wanted to talk about this first story. Y'all know we in Florida. Mm-hmm. It's always a crazy story about Florida in the news. All Florida right? woman. Instead of a Florida man, we got a Florida woman today. Yes. All right. Yes. Now this Florida woman, so her well name for the city boy, for the hot boy. What is it, city boy? City yes, boy, I guess here. Yeah. Yes, yes. So this person, her name is Angel Footman. Now Miss Angel Footman is a teacher mm. at Griffin Middle School in Leon County. Mm. Now, Miss Footman was setting up Fight Club at the school with adults. That's nah, cool. with the kids. With the oh, kids. That's cool too, but that's not oh cool. wow. Well, that's anyway. She was setting up the fights, and these were in a sixth grade classroom. Um, they said they had more than three fights. The school district terminated her, and they're still investigating everything that was going on. They found out by social media, of course. Um, and the rules for the fights were you can only fight for 30 seconds, and the students could not record, and they could not yell Listen. while they fighting. Listen. I'm sorry to cut you. Like I said, I'm going to take her over. Bro, bro, bro. How? It said no cell phones, no recording, and no yelling. And it still got on social media. Boy, that social media is a beast. Yeah, eventually one of the teachers found out. They yeah. say um, Mr. Ricky Hanna, okay. he called the police and um, had the teacher uh, charged with soliciting minors. Soliciting minors. Now let's break this down. You said she had a fight club mm-hmm. with sixth grade fight club. Yeah, sixth grade. Bare days. knuckle, mm-hmm. thirty second, mm-hmm. no screaming. That's that's pay per view worthy. No, it's not. <laughs> if you think about sixth graders, they're just getting out of elementary school. Yep. They're trying to figure out their they way ready. in middle school. They no, ready. they're not ready. They are not ready, and they're trying to figure themselves out. So I'm they're not, doing the most just to try to fit in. I'm not saying they're ready for that, but their mindsets are ready for, if this is what's, like you say, going to make me fit in, then I'm going to fit in. Oh, I'm going to fit in good. I know how to fight. I've been fighting all my life. <laughs> no, I, I mean... I know you're not agreeing, of course you're not no, agreeing, but no. this is like dangerous for our children yeah. being in public school and not knowing what these teachers are doing with the kids. Because we had fights. We had the little, y'all remember, I remember being in fight circles all the time and we had them almost like boxing matches. You fight for a little bit. If y'all got on the ground, I was doing too much hugging, break it up. 
can start back over. But to have a teacher, like, that had to be something crazy. I'm glad I'm not growing up right now, y'all. I couldn't have grown up right now. This shit. Like, social media, you know, the fashion world, the, the, the what you look, dress, smell, how your swag is, if you got riz. My kids told me about riz. <laughs> I don't know what it is, but I right, we still don't understand. I don't that. want it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man, but um, like I say, all of that, man, it's just it's hard, man. I couldn't picture myself growing up right now. So yeah, they have a lot to go through, especially when they put under pressure by adults. These adults are supposed to be taking care of our kids, but I feel yeah. like it's because they don't respect the kids as their own. Yep. Yep. Somebody gonna be teacher's pet if they beating up people up. I'm not condoning that, y'all. That's just crazy to me. I'm just thinking about all the possibilities. Like my mind goes different ways. And as a kid, like some are scared, some don't want to do it and have to do it because the go the dude gonna beat you up anyways, and everybody pushing you back in there. Like all that that you went through as a kid with a teacher in the room. Who are you going to tell? So they don't feel safe, you know right. what I'm saying? And speaking of like safety with our kids kind of lead us into the next thing. Um, drugs being marketed to kids. Oh man, let's not even talk about it, man. Because I, I remember growing up and, you know, it was a time when you were late teens, 18, 19, and you know, the early 20s, exes, he was really big out there. And that was one of the drugs of our days, like the 90s or whatever, 2000, whatever you want to call it. Yeah, I'm about to say not the 90s, but we was, we was on like, I was on yeah, like three. the 2000s. But, <laughs> but what was on the front of those, if y'all were around our age, 30s and 40s, they had Bart Simpson on it. They had mm -hmm. Superman on it. They had the Dolphins, the Triple Stacks. Everybody had the Transformers, like... We're adults. Why wasn't there like a a day off? Or you know what I'm saying? Uh, a, a check for like just clocking out. You know what I'm saying? A clocking out pill that said clocking out on it or something like that. An easy little stamp. No, they turned it into a bar sim site. Even with like nowadays they have the LSDs and the fentanyls and all these other things that they're putting in that looks like little gummy candies and looks like little, you know string regular candy that a kid would get out uh, to even bring it even closer um us as adults you know they just this big opening up the cannabis everything mm -hmm. and all the all the edibles there what are they there Reese's Pieces Oreos Snickers yeah. why is it so advertised towards kids stuff why isn't there a Nutri-Grain bar <laughs> <laughs> we you, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but why is it these type of snacks that yeah. are also more geared to kids? Like we enjoyed them as kids. They came out while we were kids. They're kids snacks. You buy them for your kids. So if your kids see that brownie or that weed, whatever, mm -hmm. just sitting there, what are they gonna think? Yeah, they're gonna wonder. And also the. Uh packaging for a lot of that stuff is like really colorful yep and has cartoon characters on it yep. and all kind of stuff yep yeah we're gonna go to the word <laughs> we're gonna go to the word and we're gonna talk about what the word says about um children how we're supposed to treat our children how we're supposed to de ask children i wonder if he say put it in their tip to do like that no he don't say that he never said that <laughs> We're never saying that he said that, y'all. <laughs> so we're going to read from Matthew 18. Um, it is verse 4 through 7. Um, this is Jesus himself. These words read, y'all. Yeah. These red words, yeah, okay? Yeah, yeah. We're going to read it. Whosoever therefore shall humble himself as this little child, the same is greatest in the kingdom of heaven. And whoso shall receive one such little child in my name receiveth me. 
But whoso shall offend one of these little ones which believe in me, it were better for him that a millstone were hanged about his neck and that he were drowned in the depths of the sea. Woe unto the world because of offenses. For it must needs be that offenses come, but woe to that man by whom the offense cometh. So these things have to happen, y'all. But we're not supposed to worry about it, y'all. As long as you are not a part of that person who is getting the woe, don't don't be a part of the don't abuse be, of children, y'all. Don't get that woe. Don't be a part of the abuse of children. Y'all heard it, y'all said that. Those were Jesus' words. Don't he get said. that woe. And woe is, woe is basically like extreme suffering. Um, it's a curse or judgment from God. It's a, from God. Yeah, so if it's a judgment from God, y'all, it's something that you probably can't come back from. Y'all done seen a good dancer do this yeah. and make everybody go wild. So you know if God do that. My last words, y'all. My last words are, um, it's just a recap of like what we've been talking about um, with the kids, how everything's just kind of loose with kids. We had our ways back then, but we still have respect. We still have things going for us. We need to, um, parents, I want to put this on uh, a challenge on parents, a challenge on community leaders, a challenge on people in the community, the village, the community, to let's start caring about all the kids again. You know what I mean? Like, take that time out to say, hey, how you doing, young man? You Are you going to school? You still going to school? You know what I'm saying? Just little stuff. When you see them walk by them, y'all be safe. You know, tell them don't talk to strangers, even though they're talking to your strange self. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Different stuff like that, you know what I'm saying? Because your spirit, if your spirit and your heart is in the right place, they'll receive you. They won't, it won't be creepy because you're not trying to be creepy. Right. You know what I'm saying? So let's, let's get out there and talk to these kids. Let's be active in other people's lives because at the end of the day, that's our future. And if we keep letting everything go like it is now, like there won't be nothing left. Mm -mm. They don't, res they won't, they won't respect anybody. Like some of them still have it. Some of them still do. Mm -hmm. Because even with the story with the young girl that was cussing with me in line, the little boy that was with her, the younger boy that was with her, he chilled out. He was like, he had that look like, oh crap, that's a, mm -hmm. that's a grown man telling us to chill out. You need to chill out, cause chill out for a minute. You know what I mean? We need to, that need to be put back in all of them. And like I was, um, what I state is that it's, I think it can really help them. Like, you know, mm -hmm. just hearing it from one person may not change their mind, but if they constantly hear, hey, calm that down, calm that down, something might make them click and say, hey, something might be wrong with me and I might need to calm that down because these are those, these people are speaking up about it. You see something, say something. <laughs> but yeah, let's get on them, you know what I'm saying? Let's let's get honor back in uh, the names of our families, the names of ourselves. Let's not stop trying to build a new honor and a new this and that. You know what I'm saying? I know some of uh, our legacies are messed up, but like I say, let's let's have more decency for for humanity. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Just be more human. Be more caring, be more compassionate, think about somebody else more than yourself. Do that with adults too. Don't just do it with kids. Ask them how they doing. Good morning. Open the door, hold the door for somebody. Do something different. You know what I mean? Just make a difference in somebody else's life other than yours once a day. It's just as simple as holding the door, or asking them how they doing, and honestly giving a damn about how they doing. Yeah. I want to add on something. Yeah, no. Also, my, just one little thing. Stuff. Yeah. Um, I don't know if it's a challenge or not, but just spending time with your kids, y'all, if y'all have uh, kids, getting them off the phone, y'all have a family game night, like get to know each other, just really spend time with each other. Learning what they actually like, even mm -hmm. if you don't fully like it, taking one day out of your month, one day out of your, you know what I'm saying? The, out the week. Out the week. week. No, I was mm -hmm. saying the only reason why I say the month, like to do something that they specifically oh, like yeah, to do. Yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, I go somewhere where they like to go. I buy them a certain thing that they like to do. My youngest one is into protein and all type of 
exercise and you can see I don't exercise I don't exercise much but you know what I'm saying one day out the month I go and do something with him I mess with him and do some extra you know what I'm saying run around with him or uh, he goes to his boxing classes you know what I'm saying we got him in boxing and stuff like that or uh, you know what I'm saying I buy him his protein bars or when I go out and I see something protein because I know he likes his protein I make sure I grab it make sure it's safe for him or make sure I grab him something to and he, you know what I'm saying, appreciates it, you know what I'm saying, knows that we care and know what he likes and it makes him feel like, you know what I'm saying, he has some type of support with what he's doing. Even yeah. though I'm just buying a $5 <laughs> milk or they expensive, y'all, <laughs> our energy bar, one little bar, one little milk, not a gallon of milk. One little milk for like five dollars. So what? He, you know, what I'm saying he enjoys it. He thanks me. He happy. He drinking it in two seconds. But <laughs> you know, what I'm saying it's what he likes. So just learning what they like and being able to, you know, be excited about your future. And don't. And and another thing. Don't try to make your future their future all the time. Because whatever you setting up for them, they're not really. I don't like. Are you doing, are you holding on to what your parents had set up for you if you had those type of parents? Eh, half of them not. Half of your siblings want to sell it. Half some, one of y'all want to keep it. All this other stuff go on. So, you know what I'm saying? Just like I say, let's keep value. Let's keep family. Going back to the wrapping it up. Because it was wrapped up. Yes. <laughs> and <laughs> I like to wrap it up. Yes. Wrap. We need to get that sign. Wrap it up. I'm gonna change that and say You're wrap not it up. I'm like that because I'm always gonna be wrap pushing the button. Right. <laughs> Push the button. Wrap it up, B. But yeah, y'all. Thank y'all for coming out, y'all. Y'all love somebody else than yourself, man. Learn how to love yourself too. God dang. And have a wonderful day. And we thank y'all for coming out and tuning thank in you. to another episode of From the Hood to the Woods. And we out, y'all. Prove it all.